virgin spent 55 years hiding from women and built 15 foot fence around his home. And we are now live with my fellow worker who replaces dead commanders with a virgin one, Tanya. Hello, Tanya. How's your shithole sewer going? Hi, Quack. Keep talking like this and we'll see whose legs will be spread during the next Thanksgiving. Let me know. So, I am near the house of the African oldest virgin. When he realized that I'm a woman, he jumped into his fortress and locked in. Woman? Come on! You're a quacking frog! Well, technically, yes. But tell it to a 75-year-old virgin with an endless boner. Fair enough. So, to save his virginity and hide it from African women, he has built a 15-foot fence that must protect him. But looking at his house made of shit, I don't see any threat of women flowing into there. Hmm female pigs, maybe. But what is the point of keeping your virginity? Tell him that it can be easily sold on the internet. Well, yes. But still, 75-year-old virgin won't taste as good as 75-year-old wine. But there's another good side of this story. The guy also works as a local coconut cracker. Guess what is his main tool? <laughs> Always hated coconuts. Okay, do you see anything else? I see a group of so-called virginity hunters. These are the local women who have never had sex with a 75-year-old virgin. As this guy is the only one of its kind here, he remains the only target for this group. Oh, I see them breaking through the fence. So I gotta go. I can't miss this 75-year-old DNA unpacking. That's something I definitely don't want to see. What's next? 